in here. You may not want pricing on all of your catalogs. You may just want pricing on sample catalog, and you may not want Aristocraft or Medallion or somebody else's pricing. So you have the option of telling it what to price, when, and where. You can set your sales tax, your design charge, your shipping. Um, these are percentages or dollar amounts. It looks like we're missing the dollar sign up here. Oh, it's these guys here. I have to have my guys work on that. It was there the other day. Um, price per pound and price per cubic feet. This is your shipping. It'd be ten dollars per pound, ten dollars per cubic foot, ten percent, or just plain old ten dollar. So, installation. Um, this installation here is a per box insula installation. So, if you have an installer that installs at a, a, a dollar per box, you would use this. Otherwise, set this as zero. And we'll take a look at how you can add your installation pricing here in just a moment. Clicked on the include. You can come in here. You can put your logo in here. You can do a header and a footer if you want to. Pricing. Remember I said installation was per cabinet? Come down here and say, you know, we got a corner cabinet. Maybe 50 bucks ain't enough. Delete. I just double clicked. Deleted. Hit 8 on my keyboard, enter. Now that one's going to be 80 bucks. If you want to do, that's the same way you would do it as we came out here and did 0, 0. We'll go back to pricing. Now 80 is still in here. Whatever you set stays. And you don't have to do it. You don't have to set something first. They can all be zeros. And you can just come in here and type your price in. Do 1,080 for installation. Project settings. Here you come in here, dealer name, dealer name, designer and dealer name, customer name, customer address, all the way through. You can put a job name in here if you want. Remember I told you to be nice in your notes up front? My note, this is where it shows up. Well, you know, then when we come down here and click view report, and I'm going to have to resize this guy for you too. There we go. View report. Here we go. Um, dealer name, dealer company. Hmm. That should be dealer email, dealer address. On down through here, my note. That's where that note showed up. So you want to behave. Here we go. Here's all the options we chose in our global specs. All of our cabinets again zero pricing because there is no pricing in sample catalog come down here there's no discount to zero pricing no discount of price installation design subtotal pretty easy sneezy go ahead and close out of that guy and cancel um, multi quote report we have to have uh, have to have something more than sample catalog to get multi quote report um, basically what that one will do, it's just like your customer report, only you can set up up to five different reports. Combined report, this will allow you to um, add some pictures and your reports together in an email format. You can email them that way. Order by email. You can come in here, put in your email address. Always put in a reply address because this email is from our server, not from your server. So you're not going to have a little thing that tells you what emails you've sent. So always put a reply to your address. That way, not only can they reply to it, but you should probably CC to your address as well. That way you've got a copy of what you've sent them. Um, you'll notice our tutorial design is already in here. You can click Browse and add you know, pictures, whatever you need to. If you send somebody the tutorial design, they're not going to be able to open it unless they have Pro Kitchen, so you probably won't want to send them to the design itself if it's a customer because you can email your customer from here even though it says order by email you can send all your stuff by email if you click send and it looks like it's going and pretty soon you get a little message that tells you you need to check your internet properties um, just go ahead and close it basically what it's telling you is that your email 
server will not allow you to send by a proxy server, which is what you're doing when you're sending from the Pro Kitchen server. Um, so you'll just have to generate an email out of your own email account and send it that way. Um, if I click send, it tells me that because Bresnan doesn't allow me to send from Pro Kitchen server. Um, we've got update catalogs up here. I'm just going to click on check for updates. This should just pop up here in a second. And I do have an update, automatic updates tutorial here. That's ah, being slow, close, close, go away. There we go. EDI, if you're set up with electronic ordering, EDI is the button for that. Report a problem. If you have a problem as you're designing, you got a cabinet that is the wrong color, um, your countertops just did something really funky, um, whatever it may be, if it's a design-related issue, not a training issue, but a design-related issue or a catalog-related issue, please click on the uh, report a problem. You can attach the design right to it. It's going to jump right under the Pro Kitchen server. It's going to um, put that up there and give you a ticket number. Makes it really easy for you to check on that. Makes it easy for us to work on it. Help button, pretty self-explanatory. It's going to take you to the help. Video Tutorials button. Very handy button to have here. If we click on this button, it opens up. Oops, wrong one. Where's the other one at? I got two of them open here. Minimize. Oh, here we go. There we go. This is all of our tutorials here. Just come through. Pick the one you want. Here's a few on the EDI we just talked about. Um, closet designer. Just go ahead and click on the one you want. It zooms you right down to it. You can either click here and watch it right off of YouTube or you can directly download it. And that way you can save it to your computer. Come back, watch it whenever you want if you want to. Or you can scroll through all of those boys. Pick the one you want. But it's so much easier just to look through the list up here. Okay. There's that guy. We'll pull up the one we just had. Here's our 3D gallery. Just kind of show off some of the things that you can do when you become, you know, maybe a little more advanced user. Just some fun little designs in there. Showing the scope of what Pro Kitchen is capable of. And now at this point, you have basically designed your kitchen, or you should be able to basically design a kitchen from Pro Kitchen without too many problems. Um, definitely take advantage of all the video tutorials we have up there, the training tutorials. Take advantage of those. Use those um, to your fullest. Um, that's what they're there for. Um, and if you have any questions, feel free to give us a shout. Um, contact your salesperson, get a hold of us at support. We'll be glad to help you out. Thank you for taking some time with me and uh, learning how to design a basic kitchen in Pro Kitchen Mac.